Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, I don't know if you've noticed this, if you've been reading the Bible, but sometimes scripture is wonderful and sometimes it's confounding, like today's passage. We're looking at Matthew 21, verses 18 through 22. Uh, See if this is familiar. It says, in the morning, as Jesus was returning to the city, he became hungry. And seeing a fig tree by the wayside, he went to it and found nothing on it but leaves. And he said to it, may no fruit ever come from you again. And the fig tree withered at once. When the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, how did the fig tree wither at once? And Jesus answered them, truly, I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, be taken up and thrown in the sea, it will happen. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Now, uh, why did Jesus curse the fig tree? And by the way, this passage has been abused by a lot of people, so hopefully I'll I'll help that a little bit. But uh, the first question is, why did Jesus curse the fig tree? And the easy answer is because it looked fruitful, but it wasn't. From a distance, it looked like a healthy fig tree that's going to have figs. And Jesus went to get figs, and they weren't there, and he cursed it. Not because he was angry, but because he wanted us to get a lesson out of this. And the lesson is this, bear fruit. Obviously, bear fruit of the Holy Spirit. Let your life be one that evidences love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Because that's the fruit that God is looking for. And don't just look like a, a Christian from a distance. Don't just look like a Christian on social media or on your bumper stickers. Look like a Christian up close. When people get close to you, do they discover fruit in your life? And then the second thing that uh, I think this passage is talking about is that Jesus gives us authority and power as his followers. Now, that's debated about what that means, so let me see if I can clarify this. We know that Jesus gives us authority because he said, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses. Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. God's given us his power because the Holy Spirit comes on us and lives in us. And that's an amazing gift that God has given us. Um, but we seldom live like we have God's authority. The Apostle Paul says that we are ambassadors for Christ. So we represent Jesus. That's where our authority comes from. Um, It doesn't mean that we have the power to be selfish. Well, I want that, so I'm going to claim it in the name of Jesus. That's not how it works. That's just really bad theology. Uh, The authority is to represent Jesus, which means we live our lives that reflect the character of Jesus. And when we're living our lives to reflect the character of Jesus, we have power. We have the power to influence. We have the power to be his witnesses, no matter what that costs us. We have the power to endure suffering, to be persecuted, and and still to praise God. We have the power to, to celebrate even in the midst of grief and loss, because we have that power, that certainty of heaven as our home, and we have God's power in us. We have the authority to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and expect God to bear fruit in people's lives. You see, when we're doing those things, and sometimes God gives us extraordinary power in the moment, but it's never power just to do what we want. It is always power to accomplish the will of God and build his kingdom, and that's when we see his power. So today, I pray that you are bearing the fruit of the Holy Spirit in your life, that you just don't look like a Christian from a distance, but you're actually living it close up. And I pray that you are living in the authority of Jesus. I hope that helps, and I hope you have a blessed day.